Einstein never speaks about space field contraction layers theory. Einstein's theory of relativity doesn't specifically talk about space field contraction, but it does introduce the concepts of time dilation and length contraction within his special theory of relativity. These phenomena describe how space and time are relative to an observer's motion, particularly at speeds approaching the speed of light. Length contraction. Length contraction is the shortening of an object's length along its direction of motion as measured by an observer who is not moving with the object. This is not a physical compression, but rather a consequence of the relationship between space and time. The faster an object moves, the shorter it appears to be to a stationary observer. This effect is negligible at everyday speeds, but becomes significant at relativistic velocities. Time dilation. Time dilation is the phenomenon where time appears to pass more slowly for a moving object relative to a stationary observer. For example, a clock on a fast-moving spaceship would tick more slowly than a clock on Earth, as measured by someone on Earth. Like length contraction, this effect is only noticeable at very high speeds. These concepts are derived from the two postulates of special relativity. The laws of physics are the same for all observers in a non-accelerating frame of reference. The speed of light in a vacuum is the same for all observers, regardless of the motion of the light source or the observer. Whether Einstein thought time contraction was a way to show a manner of contraction as velocity proceeds near light speed, or whether time is an actual substance that measures it, time in essence is not a real thing. It's a measurement used to measure in a scale. Or in essence, when a traveler reaches light speed, we can view what Einstein relates as time to measure the physical element layers of space field coordinate intervals based on the light speed veloci.